good morning. Uh, we light up a crane. Scene six. Yesterday we discussed uh, how Sudu, Unsu, and Yoyo um, plan how to use Su in making Senbaori. In this scene, we are going to see uh, how Yoyo, how Yoyo. Uh, tries to use Su to make another Senba Ori according to their plan. Now let's see their conflict. Conflict between uh, Yoyo and Su. It's a long scene. Uh, we read it. It is also a conflict between love and money. Not it down. This conflict is also between love and money. Su wants love. Yoyo wants money. Right. Su represents love. Yoyo represents money. Now it is that conflict. You can see in this scene. Let's see what happens. Uh, now, Sudo and Unsu, they are in hiding. They are watching the scene from their hiding place. Angila Balang in Su, oh my darling, come here now, dear me. You soaking wet. You are wet. I am afraid you will catch cold. Now you see, this is Sue's concern for this man. I am afraid you will catch cold, you will be sick. Come here and warm yourself. Supper's ready. Now Sue has made everything needed for this husband. Your food, supper means food, is ready thanks to you. Because of you, the soup is boiling. Even my soup is hot. Won't you eat supper now? Uh, yo yo, he has not much talk. Hmm? Yes, he sits down by the fireside. My dear, do start, please. Please. Begin eating. Ah, yes, he eats. Now there is no that, uh, not that uh, friendly relationship, mm? that happy relationship. Now Yoyo -Yo is in a different mood, a sulky mood, unhappy mood. Ah. Su knows the reason of this drama. Su knows that Yoyo uh, -Yo is acting a drama. According to Sudu and Unsu. Su, what's the matter with you? What is your problem? Why are you so sad? You shouldn't stay outside so late. It's too cold. You will not go out anywhere, will you? You will not talk with strangers anymore. Ah. Now Su, Su knows the reason. Strangers. Uh, you are in unhappy mood because of those strangers. Uh, these strangers are Sudu and Unsu. Now Su suspects because of Sudu and Unsu, her husband is in angry, upset mood. Uh, no, 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 I don't go. Please promise me, my dear, I'll do anything for you. I'll do whatever you want. Now you have got the money you like. Now, Sue comes to the point directly. Sue comes to the point directly. She knows. She knows that this man is trying to run after money again. Therefore, 
she comes to the problem directly and she says, now, yo, yo, you have enough money. Please stop now this game. Please stop this game now. Don't play it anymore. It is dangerous to you as well as to me. Ah, yes, I got the money. I got a lot of money in that sack. In the bag. Sack means bag. Yes, you have. I know. You have. Now conflict begins. Conflict begins between the two characters. Then from now on, won't you lead our life quietly as before? Ah. Now this is Sue's question. Uh, why don't you live a quiet life? Quiet life means peaceful life as before. Won't you please enjoy a life of peace and happiness with me? Together forever. Don't you want to enjoy a life of peace and happiness? Now you know, money, money destroys your peace and happiness of your mind. Too much money. Moderate money is quite okay. But if you have too much money, it troubles your peace and happiness of your mind. This is what Sue mentions here. Ah, I love you, my dear. No, no, I love you. Now, this is a lie. This is an utter lie, serious lie. Talik Boruak maker. Why? Because now he has already promised to Yo Yo, sorry, Unsu and Sudu to use Su to make Senbawari. My darling, I love you with my whole heart. Then you will always stay as you are now, will you? Now, this is Sue's request. She wants this man to be with her. It's somewhat selfish. Somewhat selfish request. From, but from her point of view, she has no other protection. This man is the only protection. Therefore, she tries to keep Yoyo to herself. Without Yoyo, she has no life on earth. She must go back to her world without Yoyo. Therefore, she wants to keep this man to herself. It is selfish from our point of view. Yes, I love you deeply and dearly. Hmm. Yoyo again says, won't you have some more? Have some more food. More means here, food. Why? What's happened? Why aren't you eating, my dear? No, yes, I have nothing but darling. Yes. Now, who knows? This man has, this man is hiding something from her. Hmm? Hiding. Ah. You are lucky to have seen Kyoto. Now Yoyo too comes to his problem. Little by little, now he begins to talk about Kyoto. So many times. Really, I envy you. Envy means jealous. Now Yoyo knows that Su has been to Kyoto. So must have told him, I have been to Kyoto. Now, Yoyo comes to his point, Kyoto. Now, Kyoto is also part of his business plan, going to Kyoto. Hmm. Ah, ah, do you? Do you like Kyoto? But I saw it just from the sky. Now, it's a slip of the tongue. Slip of the tongue, again, cutting Kievin. But she suddenly changes the topic. I saw it from the sky. But she says, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, why, why don't you eat some more? Ah, yes. Hesitating and timidly. My dear, listen. Uh, listen, Sue. Yes. I say. Oh, uh, uh, I say. Mm. Now here, that uh, dramatic technique, he does not complete the sentence. Uh, I foresee your pieces. Oh, for heaven's sake, oh, God's sake, uh, I can't say. Why? What's the matter? Uh, well, dearest, uh, mm, 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 there are a lot of apposite uh, pieces. I just uh, can't mm, say it. Now, Yoyo has not uh, uh, self-courage, self-strength uh, 
to come uh, come to his point. Uh, what is his point? Making us in Bowery. He hesitates. He stammer. Mm? He just cannot uh, speak it out. Mm? So, who knows it? Uh, why? What's the matter? Uh, well, dearest, mm, hes hesitating and giggling, giggling means laughing. Uh, I just can't uh, say it. Why? What's the matter? Why can't you say it? Then shall I guess it? Can I guess it? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Ah, uh, so, well, uh, you want uh, buckwheat cakes. You want cake made of uh, wheat. Uh, don't you? Ah, uh, no, no, no. I, I don't want cake. Now, yo, yo is not in the mood of eating cake. <laughs> he is in the mood of uh, needing Senbaori. No, no, no. Well, then, uh, you want to hear my song, don't you? Ah, no, no, it's okay. It's right. It's not right. Of course. Uh, I like your song, but not today. No, no, no. I don't want song today. Then, uh, isn't it the, well, let me see. Then you want to hear from me about Kyoto, don't you? Uh, do you want to know? about Kyoto from me. Am I right? I think I am right. Ah, yes. You are almost right. Hmm. Partly right. Half wrong. Ha ha. He laughs. So, <laughs> what do you mean? Half right, half wrong? Please, please, please tell me what it is. Darling, you won't be angry. Do you get angry? Ah. Now he comes to the point with some fear. Why should I get angry with you, Yo-Yo? What is it? Please, please tell me, my darling. Uh, well, you see, honey, my dear, I want to go to Kyoto. Uh, I want to go to Kyoto. Part of that plan, visiting Kyoto, not with empty hands, but with the Senbaori. Why? To make a lot of money. Uh, Again, he comes to that point, making money. I want another piece of that cloth. Ah. Now you see, Yo-Yo breaks the promise. Yo-Yo breaks the agreement. Yo-Yo forgets his love for Sue. Now he thinks of going to Kyoto with piece of that cloth. He's changed. Ah, Sue is surprised. This is the answer Sue has been expecting. Ah, in surprise and embarrassment, in surprise and embarrassment, unhappiness. Ah, you want some more of that cloth? Oh, my darling, for God's sake. Now Sue cannot believe this. This man's change and this man's break of promise. Uh, no, no. I don't need any more. No, 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 dear. No, no. Underline these words. You promised. I promised. You agreed. Uh, promise and agreement. They are good. Two good moral values. Promising and agree. You promise. We agree. They are good values. Now Sue comments, Yo-Yo, you are promise-breaking man. You are dishonest man. You break the promise. Huh? You agreed that we wouldn't view anymore. We promised to each other that we should stop weaving. But now you break that promise, Yo-Yo. But you still want more. Now this is Yo-Yo's dishonest, unfaithful nature. Now Sue is quite unhappy, disappointed with this nature of husband. Ah, yes, we agreed that I don't want any more. No, 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 I don't want any more. I don't need any more. As if a child, he, child scolded, he is trying to keep back his tears. Now, <clears throat> uh, uh, already I told you this yo-yo is a childish character like a child. Now he is trying to cry. As a child cries for something he likes, yo-yo is also 
going to cry like a child for Saint Bahori. Right. So suddenly something occurs to her mind. Mm. Now Su so thinks to herself. She thinks of herself. Oh, now I see, I understand. It is they, please underline, it is they who are pulling you away from me. Now they refers to Sudu and Unsu. Now I understand those two strangers are taking you away from me. Those who came to see you this evening, they are trying to convert you. Uh, convert means change. They are trying to change you into their way of thinking. Uh, their way of thinking, their method, mm, their thinking, their ideologies, to their attitude. Now to understand, the reason for Yo-Yo's change is Sudu and Unsu. Now, darling, don't be angry, Su, don't be angry, Su. Now, Su is silent, confused, because she cannot understand the situation of this man. Su, my dear. Now, Su absent mindedly, without uh, proper senses, money, money, money. Why do they want it so much? She speaks to herself. Why do these people need money? They need this money. They, agree, they are greedy for this money so much. Why? Sue cannot understand. Because Sue does not have any value in this money. Because in her world, there is no use of money. Well, now, Yo-Yo says, by hearing Sue's words, underline, because if we have money, we can buy nice things we want. Ah. Now, this idea is very important. This is how we people think of money. This is how we people think of money. We think if we have money, we can do anything. We can buy anything. We can be happy. We can enjoy life. This is how realistic people think of money. That is why people are running after money. Because everything is based on money. But this is not totally true. This is half true, half wrong. Because there are things you can't buy with money. Can you buy uh, with money? Love, happiness. You cannot buy them from market. Hmm? You cannot buy them. We discussed this matter even in the short story, The Nightingale and the Rose. Nightingale and the Rose. Right? Now here even that uh, matter is discussed. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. Even in Richard Corey, we discussed this. Money is not everything. Uh, there are other aspects of life. You can enjoy them without money. Uh, that is what uh, Sue says. But Yo-Yo thinks if he has money, he can buy nice things he wants. Now Sue is angry about these remarks. She is angry about these remarks. She says, buy what to buy. What's buy? What's nice thing? What do you want beside me? I am the nicest thing you have. I am the nicest woman you have. What are the other nice things? No, please don't. Don't want anything. No, 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 no. You don't want anything but me. You need only me. I hate money. I do not like money, Yo-Yo. I do not like buying too. Please love me, love only me. Don't love anything else. Don't love these material objects. This is selfish request. Love me, love only me. Let us live together always. Then Yoyo says, yes, certainly. I like to live with you. I love you very much. 
to my darling, please, my darling. She embraces him, please. Live with me like this. Don't go away from me. Please don't go away from me. Now she pleads. She knows that this man is going away. She is 100% sure. But still she tries to stop this man. She feels it to her heart. Yo-Yo, why on earth? Now Yo-Yo is telling lie here. Telling lies. Why on earth wants to leave you, my dear, my dear Sue? Uh, now Sue says, in your arms, I recall the days gone by. I remember our past mm, days, past life. Nothing bothered me. Even I was when I was a bird, nothing bothered me. I was perfectly at ease in the vast sky. I was a free person in the vast sky. She thinks. She thinks in this way. My dreams come again. I remember. I am glad. I am happy. My dear, I am happy. I am happy only if you are always with me. Mm. Please be with me forever. Please don't leave me. Please, please. Yo, yo. You are still think of Kyoto? Ah. Now she questions. After her thinking, she questions. Yo, yo. Do you still think of going to Kyoto? You are still thinking of money? Yes, but Sue, I can't help it. I can't forget it to you, Sue. I can't forget money. I can't forget Kyoto. Ah, you are, you are, you are, I see. Uh, no, no, don't go to Kyoto, please. You will never return again. You won't come back to me. Don't be a fool, dearest. I'll be back. I'll know I'll come back. I'll go to Kyoto just to make a lot of profit. Oh, that's a good idea. We'll go there. We'll go there. Both of us will. Now, Yo-Yo does not change his uh, idea. Change his idea of going to Kyoto. He is determined to go there. This time he suggests. He invites even Su to come with him to go to Kyoto. Then Su questions, are you so terribly anxious to go to Kyoto? Are you so terribly anxious for money? She still questions. She repeats the same thing. She repeats the same thing to confirm your, your determination. Yes, you see. Ah, now you see, Yo-Yo does not change. He's very dogmatic. He never thinks of this wife. He never feels his uh, wife's feelings. No, no. So no one can be indifferent to money. Indifferent. Careless. Ah. No one can be indifferent to money. We must think of money. We must consider money. Then so again questions. Are you so eager to get money? You want money so much? Are you so eager to go to Kyoto? Now finally she comments. Underline. She says, You are not as fond of me. Fond means like. Interest. You do not like me as you love money. You do not love me as you love money. You do not love me as you love Kyoto. Now, so questions. You are not as fond of me as of money, are you? You are not as fond of me as of you are. Right. Now, so comes to the point directly. Yo, yo, you love money more than you love me. Yo, yo, you love Kyoto more than you love me. Right? Isn't that so, yo, yo? Uh, so, but he does not answer that directly. He's very cunning. So, I dislike you putting it that way. I don't like you speak it in that way. Don't speak in that way. Right? Because who is speaking the truth? Yo-Yo does not like to hear this truth. Dislike? You does not like? You say you dislike? You dislike me? Yes, I dislike you. 
This time he says, not only your words, I also dislike you. I do not like you, woman. Now the conflict comes to a climax, zenith. Mm, it develops. Mm, I am not fond of you. You are a cross woman. Ah, you are a cross woman. Cross woman. You get angry. I don't like you, Sue. Mm. Now, Sue cannot believe this. Yo, yo, how could you? How could you speak like this? Another aphosia piece is incomplete sentence. Leave the stuff right away. Ah, now Su command, sorry, yo yo command Su. View the stuff right away. View the cloth just now. Mm, I'll go to Kyoto. I'll make money, big money. You can't stop me. Give, give me a piece of cloth. Now yo yo threatens, threatens Su. You see how much he has changed because of money. Uh, dear, dear me, please, for God's sake, why on earth do you speak like that? Why do you speak to me like that? Again, he commands, weave the cloth, underline, weave the cloth, weave the cloth. If you say you can't, I leave you. Whose advice is this? Who gives this advice to Yo-Yo? Hmm? Who gives this advice? Whose words are these? These are not Yo-Yo's words. Yes, answer came. Let's see. Sandumini, very good. These are Sudhu's answer. Sudhu's words. Sudhu's advice. Sudhu gives this advice. For God, for the good Lord's sake, my God, you said you would leave me. Are you going to abandon me? Leave me? Oh God, how do you say, darling? How, how could you say such a thing? Now yo, yo, he keeps silent, stubbornly. He does not speak anymore. My dear, my dear, please. Are you in earnest? You say in earnest, please, my dear. Are you eager? Is this real? Are you going to abandon me? Leave me? Divorce me? Yes, I leave you. Unless you weave the cloth. Ah, now he says, if you want to leave me, me, give me a piece of cloth, a condition. Now your, your love is conditional here. Hmm? This is not really love. Your, your never loves this woman. Huh? So he keep this woman because of uh, her talents and other things. Uh, I leave you unless you weave the cloth. Oh, heavens, my God. Weave the cloth. Now, Yo-Yo repeats the same thing, the stuff right away. They say they can sell it three or four times more than before. It's worth hundreds of dollars. Hundreds of dollars. So, in tremendous astonishments, in great, tremendous means great surprise, astonishments and confusion. What? What did you say now? Weave the cloth, you command me. Make the stuff. This is an order, command. Hmm? Following. Hmm? Weave the cloth. Hmm? Right. Make the stuff. Following that. What did you say? It's worth hundreds of dollars. So this time I am going to earn hundred of dollars. I said they can sell it for me three or four times as much, or sometimes three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars. She looks at McNamee at him inquiringly, questioning with questions, inclining her head on side as if a bird does. Who cannot understand this man's change? Yo, yo, you see, you see, Su, this time, this time they can sell it for more than three or four times what it brought before me. Now, yo, yo, says, Su, this time we can earn a big profit. 
three or four times more than before we earn. Now, yo-yo does not change. Yo-yo does not change his idea. He's completely different man. He's indifferent to Sue's love now. He does not feel it now. Now Sue is quite helpless. Miserable here. She can't do anything. She cannot stop this man. I cannot understand. I cannot understand. She is crying now. What you are saying is just the same as those who came to this evening. Now you are like one of them. You are like Sudo. You are like Unsu. What has happened to you? I could see your lips moving. Now I can see your lips, mouth moving here and there. I hear the sounds, but I do not understand. Hear the sounds of voices, but I could not understand what you were saying. Now, Sue says, oh, yo, yo, I do not understand what you say. Now, what is this idea? Now, there is some distance, some distance developing between them. They are going away from, apart from each other. Oh, good gracious, my God. You have also begun to speak their language. You are also speaking their language. Their language means Sulu and Ulsu's language. The words which I can't understand. The words which belong to the other world. Now you are someone like from the other world. Sus refers to, Su refers to, Sulu and Ulsu's world. I can't. I can never join. Oh heavens, what shall I do? What shall I do? This is her confusion. Confused thoughts. She is helpless. She does not know what to do in this situation. She is all alone. She has no friend. Mm. She is a lonely woman, solitary woman in this vast human world. My dear, what's the matter with you, Sue? Sue, why are you crying? Now this man questions. What's the matter with you, Sue? You said that. Don't you understand me? Mm. What's the matter with you, Sue? Hmm? Why don't you understand me, Yo-Yo? Yo-Yo astonished uh, keeps looking at her face. Now here, there is a long uh, speech, uh, crying, lament, or something like a lament, uh, made by weeping, weeping words made by Sue, uh, uh, to Yo-Yo, sorry, to Sudu and Unsu. Uh, did you, did you, you said you, didn't you? Alas, now her confused thoughts, confused mind is manifest here. Uh, you are going farther and farther from me, my heavens. What shall I do? Hmm? What can I do? Please don't, don't, don't entice my husband. Entice, entice, uh, attract or cheat, deceive, hmm? persuade. Don't persuade my husband. She speak to Sir Sudu and Unsu. Please, please, she goes out of the house. Please, for heaven's sake, where are you villagers? Where are you? Where are you hiding? I ask you, I plead with you, for mercy's sake, for God's sake, please stop pulling my yo-yo away. Please don't take my yo-yo away. He's my husband. Ah, yo-yo away. She walks up and down the stage. Please, for God's Lord's sake, sake for mercy's sake, I ask you, I plead with you, are you hiding yourself? Come out of your hiding place. Come out. You cowards. Now she blames them. She is very angry. You coward people. You are frightened. You are afraid of me. Come out of your hiding place. Sue so challenges them. Please. You are silly. You are foolish. You are unfair. Please. She keeps blame. I loathe you. I hate you. She is really angry, disappointed. I hate you. Come out, come out. Oh, I am sorry. I said I hate you. No, no, no. Now Sue is worried about these words. No, no, no. Don't worry. Please, dear villagers. Now she changes the tone. Uh, please, dear villagers, for God's sake, for mercy's sake, I ask you, I plead with you, please, for the good Lord's sake. Now she speaks to Sudu and Unsu to stop taking away uh, her husband from her. Her strength is gone little by little, and at last she sinks down in the snow. She sinks down in the snow. She falls. She falls down, and she's unconscious. 
she faints herself uh, because of uh, this heavy sorrow. Uh, she cannot bear it up, this sorrow. She knows that uh, her relationship, her marriage to Yoyo is going to end uh, because of Sudu and Unsu. Now, here, dramatists show how outside forces, when outside forces, people enter your married life, it will be completely a ruin, hmm? completely a ruin, destruction. Now, that is the idea here. Hmm? Unknown, un <clears throat> unfavorable persons, unwanted persons, if they come into your life, uh, family life, your life, family life, the good health, sound health of this, uh, that life is in danger. That is the idea here. Right. Okay. Uh, now, uh, we'll discuss uh, the other part of this scene uh, in uh, the next session. Right. Please stay.